Hi everyone and welcome to how to program your NAL robot with Python tutorial video number two. On this week's tutorial we're looking into how to get your robot to walk using Python. So if you want to learn how to code your robot to walk up any mountain then please stay tuned. Hi guys, I'm Philip English from Robofield.com. Now on this video, we're looking to teach you how to program your NAL robot to walk with Python. The NAL can be programmed to walk to any point by using the inbuilt Python program language. So instead of using the drag and drop box system in Choreograph, Python is more expressive and allows you to do things like compute the trigonometric calculations on the robot. Forward, 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 right, 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 left, 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 forward, forward, right, 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 right. Right, jumping straight into it guys, we are going to do the walk to tutorial, um, but with Python. So what we do is, as per the other Python tutorial, we right click and we add a new box. Now again, we can change all of the descriptions here, so we can have walk to, for example, tool tip, obviously just saying there, getting your robot to walk to walk oh walk so again just in there and you can have a play with the image as well again we, we can browse uh, interactions um all senses interactions and again just uh, have, have a play with just just putting like any image in there i like the index one that would do for now brilliant and that's it and we have our python code box here so what we do is we open up, oh no, before we do that, what we want to do is do a stand up. So we want our robot to stand up if he's sitting down. At the moment on the screen you can see he's standing up, but we will get we'll drag a stand up icon on there and we'll just connect it all up on the noodles. Now what I'm do, doing today, I'm not actually connected to my robot today, I'm, I'm actually using just the uh, now key. So the 3D robot in, in, the, um, in the robot view. Uh, this was because we, we don't really need to boot up my robot and connect him because we we can see what's going on quite clearly with the now key but um obviously when you are using this in a real robot don't forget to trigger on the motors and connect everything up appropriately so jumping into back into the script editor what we want to do is we want to go down and let's just expand this a little bit more just so you can have a nice clear view we want to come down to here and we want to start to rewrite this section here because this is what's going to get our robot to walk. So what we're going to write is motion, proxy equals, oh, proxy. And then in there we're going to have our motion. And we're going to put a little line across there. Again, next line, we'll put motion proxy again. Then we're going to put a walk to, capital T, T-O. And then we're going to put some figures in here. I'll tell you about these figures shortly. 0 0.0, 0, 0 0.0 there as well. We'll close brackets. And then we'll put in self on stopped with a capital S and then a couple of brackets there. So as you can see we've put this down here and we just want to take that pass away as well because we want, we want to get that away. Now the, the first line uh, creates a proxy called alt motion which is what we've created here which allows us to call the, the, the motion functions up. The second line is obviously the walk to, which moves the robot to a specific distance. Now if you have a look in the decimal places here, or uh, oh, sorry, the, the numbers here, so obviously point 0.2 is x, y, and then the radius. So he's going to move point 0.2 forward, and then if I start to play with these other numbers here, he'd move to the, to the y radius, and, and then to the, uh, the, 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 radi the, the other turning points as well. The final bit is a self on stop, so this recalls and just tells Choreograph to stop the procedure when it's at the end, so it just doesn't loop and loop and loop. Now if we're good, we should be able to see this now on our 3D now. So if I hit play, 
there we go, we see him walking along. And as you know, if you were connected to your robot, you'd have your robot walking along now with you. So, uh, and that's it guys, just to have a quick uh, play with the Walk 2 in Python. Again, you can have a play with these figures um, and numbers in here to see if we can get them to walk a little bit further. Brilliant, thank you. Well done guys, you can now get your now robot to walk by using your Python programming skills. Have a play guys and use your imagination. If you like this and want even more free video tutorials, news and information, then please visit us at robofield.com where you can download the latest free ebooks and get insider information and techniques of how to become a robot expert. Now if you like this tutorial and want to see the next one in the collection, then please hit the subscribe button and keep up to date with the latest videos that come out. Please have a look below where I've put links relating to these videos as well as other information about the NOW robot. If you have any questions or want to see any other related tutorials, then please write me a message in the comments section and I'll see what I can do. Thanks guys and I'll see you next time.